I want to look at them. Look at this, Peter. I think they're all pintails. Excellent. Good shot. That was out there, Steve. When you think of Argentina, what comes to mind? Gauchos and the Pampas? Buenos Aires and the Tango? What bird hunters think about is perhaps the finest wing shooting in the world. To test that proposition, Benelli's Steve McIlvain has gathered a band of America's top gun riders and carried them south. The idea is to see if they can wear out the birds or Benelli's newest products. They'll begin with some head-swilling waterfowling in the duck marshes of Bahia Blanca, almost within sight of the Atlantic Ocean. Then it's a move inland for well-earned shots at South America's most challenging upland bird, the hard-running Perdiz. No trip to Argentina is really complete without traveling to Cordoba's dove fields for what's simply the most incredible shooting on earth. And in case you thought we forgot, we'll also have another invaluable shotgunning tip from Benelli Big Shot, Tom Knapp. Stay tuned for that and more on Benelli's American Safari. When you touch down in Buenos Aires, there's no disguising the fact that you've arrived in one of the world's major metropolises. There's plenty of concrete and cars to see and enough people to fill New York City twice. And the question for the wing shooter is, where are the birds other than the city pigeons? The country of Argentina, though, stretches more than 2,400 miles from Bolivia in the north to Tierra del Fuego in the south. That makes it nearly three times as long as California with a smaller total population. The towering Andes Mountains mark Argentina's border with Chile, but most of the country is sparsely populated grassland and farm fields, along with marshes in the vast Paraná River Delta. And it is in one of those seasonal wetlands 300 miles southwest of Buenos Aires where Benelli's Steve McIlvain joins up with outdoor writer Peter Matisson for some classic wild Argentine waterfowling. Good shot. Actually, I thought you dumped it. South of the equator, things get turned on their head, with our summer, Argentina's winter. So May through August is the prime time for waterfowling. When it comes to dove hunting, on the other hand, that can be enjoyed year-round. Well, another pretty sunrise. It Bird, is nice. Birds In fact, it's gorgeous. Ooh, here we go, two on the left, maybe? No, they're going away. Okay. You know, this isn't a bad spot. I think when the sun comes up, it won't be in our face, and yeah. at least not too yeah. badly. On the, out front. On the deck. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's been pintail and teal city, and as you said earlier, the pintails look awesome. Yeah. I mean, they just look completely different. Bombing in. in, in front, high. They might turn. They're a little too high. Just don't move. Don't anybody move. Good shooting. Good shooting. Where did that one hit? I got them all. Yeah. All right. Good shooting. All three. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Love it when it, that happens. That's where the third shot definitely uh, right, came in handy. What I like about this hunt. Walking out, we're going to have a whole lot less shells on us than we had walking in. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Right here behind you. Watch it. Don't go too low. Right here to, to your left now. we got to hit him now. Got him. Good shooting. Who'd have thought? You went, I've gone through four boxes of shells. Yeah, I've, I've gone through. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah. yeah. My dog does that. He's like peeing in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Fell. Oh man. No. Things low far. 